There's so much driving in this game. Oh shit. This is what I get for playing other video games. Wait. What the fuck is. Why are there multiple. That's weird. I never knew that turret was there. Now, the world's largest bullet, does that mean it's in five kilometers, or the world's largest bullet is five kilometers long? Because honestly, I could see either. You know, they didn't need to actually make this fucking highway system, like, as long as an actual highway, because holy shit. The fact that there are no fast travel parts in this entire DLC is ludicrous. I greatly dislike it. This is by far the weakest DLC in the entire Borderlands series. Because it's long, monotonous driving sections broken up by extremely repetitive combat. I give it a 4 out of 10. Because any of the novelty of the driving mechanics wears off within like 10 minutes. The driving worked fine in the base game, because you were only ever doing it in, like, these enclosed, like, um, sections where there was a clear objective, like, it was kill these dudes, or fucking just drive for, like, the driving in the base game is an accessory to your travel, it's not required. Um, the driving in this, however, is extremely mandatory. That's weird. Oh, this gun's actually good still. Cool. What? No, why are people messaging me? What's happening? Yeah. So, I'm wondering how much damage scaling is attributed to your actual character's level, and how much is to the... No, really. the midget psychos. Wait, Midget Raider? Are these... Nah, no, sorry, I got confused because Borderlands 2 for a second. Yeah, this seems to work fine. Cool. Is using dynamite from, like, two feet away really the best way to handle this? It reminds me a lot of an area in fucking... Borderlands 2, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. So it does, like, normal damage on body hit, but critical damage is significant. Yeah, see? That's not too bad. I'm glad they made it so it auto-picks up money. The original game didn't do that, and it was a pain in the ass. Yeah, saw that coming. Didn't that work? Where am I? Oh, I don't know I thought I fell a lot further than that. I get distracted pretty easily. And it's a shitty battle rifle. I'm not a fan of the rifles in this game. They tend to suck really bad. But... Yeah, the shotgun's fine. This is probably better for this area. And... Not terrible. I could sell them later, I guess. Not that I really need money for anything. Yeah, that's kind of a weird thing about Borderlands, is that money starts to become useless pretty quickly once you have all... Because you're never going to buy the best guns that you have. 
You're always gonna find them. So money for anything other than... Actually, I'm not sure what you would be spending money on, if not... But anyway, the po Oh, fuck. I hate that it blows up those fucking things. Oh, wait, was that something else? Where even is this guy? I can't see shit. That's annoying. But yeah, aside from the arbitrary amount it takes from you when you die, and buying ammo, I can't really think of anything you'd be spending money on. Unless you're trying to get the achievement or something. Well, there's an achievement, I think, for maxing out all the uh, money, or whatever. Why do they do so much damage? Like, holy shit! Where the fuck even was that guy? Ah, oh, fuck. Also, the fact that it takes so goddamn much when you die is kind of ridiculous. Seriously, where the fuck is this guy? And why is it one fucking grenade blows the shit out of you? Like, come on. Wait, he's down there? That guy was lobbing grenades at me? Really? The fuck? That oh, shit. So stupid. Is there anything else here? Is there anything I should care about? Okay, why do those explosives do so much damage? I'm interested in. Yeah, I feel like the game's kind of like exhausted its loot table for the most part. There's not really anything here that I uh, need to get. Okay, now before I leave this area, is there anything? Yeah, up there. Okay. Because it takes so goddamn long to traverse this DLC, I want to make sure I do everything available in an, a given area before I fucking have to leave it. Because, man. I did not remember how fucking tedious this was the first, or the last time I played it. Okay, seriously. Where is this guy? I'm, like, getting hit with explosions that I can't fucking see. Yeah, I just love instantly dying. For no reason. Like, logic dictates that he's above me or something. Like, the fact that that TNT or whatever does all of your health instantaneously is kind of ridiculous. Okay. 
Are we good? Fuck. What's even over here? Is it something or nothing? You know, I noticed there's a lot of adverts to the other DLC in this one. But, like, you'd think it would be, like, preview stuff for upcoming DLCs, but this is the second to last one. So what the hell? Ah, shit. Is there even anything over there if I were to go down that tunnel? I think there is, but I don't remember. Shit. I think the most annoying part is having to drive all the way- is that a midget riding a goddamn skag? Well now I'm curious. Yep, that is. That's what that is. If I were to just- come on dead zones. That didn't do shit. You know, I could make this shot in real life. What the fuck? Whatever. Um. But it's the having to go all the way back to T-Bone Junction to turn in quests, and then come all the way back out here for the fucking, like, subsequent quest. Like, I get they want you to drive around or whatever, but holy shit. Could they really not have just put a fast travel location in these, like, individual sections? Did they really need to fucking make it so that you can't fast travel at all in this DLC? Like, this DLC is, like, a substantial portion of, like, the fucking main game's overworld. In terms of size. How did they not foresee this becoming a problem? Imagine if you couldn't fast travel at all in the main game. That would suck ass! That would probably put me off replaying it. Like, this isn't like Dark Souls where not being able to fast travel in the first one is part of the experience. And you like, it actually makes the game better because you have to like, learn the areas and like, make decisions and stuff. Like, Fallout is a game I could understand if they limited your ability to fast travel. I might even prefer that, because I spend a lot of time in- or I spend a lot of Fallout not traveling, if that makes sense. Um, I tend to abuse the fast travel to a stupid degree, and I actually feel like that kind of reduces some of the impact of areas for me, if I'm not, like, forced to commit to them. Um, Same with games like Skyrim. I think Oblivion's one of the only ones that I played where I was like, nah, I'm gonna walk around between all the areas. Even though Oblivion, unlike the other games, lets you fast travel between all of the different fucking cities. I keep forgetting that's not the boost button. Um, Oblivion lets you fast travel between all of them uh, from the get-go. You don't even need to um, visit them first. It's not like Skyrim where you can't fast travel to any of the cities you haven't been to yet. In Oblivion, you can just go to all of them immediately. Which I actually do kind of like. I think the reason for that is because, um, Oblivion, well first of all it was the first one right after Morrowind, and while Morrowind did have the fucking striders or whatever to fucking ride between cities, there was no actual way to fast travel past that point. Uh, and Morrowind was like a complete mess in terms of organization. Okay. Why are there no bandit patrols here? Like, Oblivion is a much more, like, wide area, I think. There's more of these weird-ass bugs, but no fucking cars. Is this gonna be one of those situations where one car will spawn every time I come here? Because if that's the case, I'm just gonna fucking, like, not do any of these. I hate that shit. It's like, we made it so the cars don't spawn to encourage players to come back multiple times to try and get stuff as they move through the, the fucking DLC. It's like, I don't want to come back here any more than I have to. So it forcing me to fucking arbitrarily leave and restart the areas just so that there are more fucking cars to fight is something that I find, like, monumentally frustrating. 
That's almost as bad as having to fucking, like, close the game and restart the game in, uh, other things to, like, fucking reset drop tables or fucking, like, reload objects that have despawned prematurely. That doesn't even work in Dark Souls anymore. It used to be if an object fell off, like, a cliff or something, you could close the game and reopen it to make it spawn at, like, the closest available, like, collision point, like, near, like, above, like, where it fell to. But that doesn't work anymore. They either patched it out of the game or it just doesn't function for some reason. Because I tried that multiple times to get objects that were supposed to uh, reappear. Because they're supposed to reappear wherever the NPC that dropped them normally would be prior to them having fallen off the cliff. So if you kick the ninja guy off the cliff and his ring doesn't spawn right next to it, you can leave and come back and the ring will spawn right next to the cliff face. Um, but that doesn't seem to work with the dragons or anything. Bleh. You gotta have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza slice that's like half goo. So where do those cars actually come from? They seem to like those ramps that are on top of the uh, plateaus or whatever. They like boost off of them and then jump into the fucking thing. I need a more reliable ability to fight them. Ugh. My voice sounds all nasally now. Yeah. Great. I'm just gonna shut up and cut back in and out depending on how often I can find these fuckers. For fuck's sake. Oh, and we're in that stupid glitch again, where the fucking thing just keeps spinning forever. Cool. Fuck you. Oh my god. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Wow, that sucks! Who designed that? I'll kick their ass. God, I hate this DLC. I think I might just fucking finish the main quest and fucking just end it there. Go straight to the next one. Holy shit, this DLC is terrible. Terrible fucking checkpoint placement like that. Like, I, that's probably intended as a trap, but the punishment is you have to walk all the way back to the fucking top section through enemies that can insta-kill you. And if I quit the game and reload it, it will spawn me back at T-Bone Junction, which means a fucking 15-minute drive all the way over here again. They added commutes to Borderlands! Wow, this sucks ass. Just like, holy shit! Enough walking. This isn't the car I want. 
Why did it reset? Can I please just have the fucking cars spawn so I can kill them? That's all I want right now. Finish up these stupid ass quests so I can do something else. It's not even that I don't want to play Borderlands, I just want to stop doing this. If I stay at this exact location, will they just keep spawning cars? I'd be okay with that. Probably not. It's like I'm really back in the year 2007, but not in like a fun way. Yeah, fuck you. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? You know what it sucks? Regardless of whatever elemental damage I'm inflicting, it still just does fucking, uh flame damage on my character. Like, I could be inflicting shot- oh, that's why. I was wondering. Um, like, I could be inflicting shock, I could be inflicting, like, fucking corrosive. Just causes a generic flame effect around my character. Cause, you know, whatever. Yeah, okay, so Skyscraper is clearly, like, a boss or something, right? Like a mini-boss? Maybe it's just a unique enemy. I don't know. Hey, the purple gun? It is. Okay, cool. And some acid shield. Eh. It's probably just like the fucking stronger variant and not actually like a mini boss. I mean, the strategy for killing these things is just shoot them from far away. Which I approve of. I like shooting things from far away. I'm pretty good at it in real life. I'd make a good sniper if my eyes weren't so bad. And, you know, I could process iron. And people didn't want to shoot me all the time. But, you know, aside from that... I like killing people for money. It's really easy. Uh, how do I get up there? Not think this. Th yeah. Okay. So wait now. These things suck. Like I actually think they're like a terrible enemy type because they are just tall enough to be outside your car's ability to shoot them, and you can't fight them on foot. So what the hell? And they shoot corrosive. Fuck. Like, seriously, what is with this DLC? It's like every part of it is conspiring to be as irritating as possible. What would the point of that be? Like, why? It's just so strange. And now the car is stuck. Fucking great. It's not as bad as before, where it got spawned on top of another car and just wouldn't move. Okay, I need to be on that one. Shit, how do I get up there? Um, fuck, I don't remember how to do any of this. Yeah, that, do you have to do like a jump? I fucking forgot. I'm just gonna shoot you, is that alright? At least they're stupid. Somehow it's like easier to hit them from further away. Like, it's easier to hit them the further away from them you are, and I guess that's because they make from a larger target from farther away, whereas up close you can really only see the legs. I mean, there's a maximum distance to how far you can raise the turret up. 
Though that might just be if you're playing as like the single player driving seat versus like if you're actually in the turret. But you can't hot switch to the turret seats in this vehicle, so not like there's a whole lot of options. Man, it's hard to tell if it drops something good or if it just drops like money because they're the same color. Or they're the same color to me, anyway. I can't tell the difference between the white and the gold, anyway, because of the fucking color shading on the drops. I can tell on the subtitles at the top of the screen, but I can't tell with the, uh... Come on, boost. Why do I have to hit that three times before it boosts? Okay, so if I want to go over there, how do I get over there? Off ramp just goes. Yeah, this doesn't help. Guess I have to go through here. That's a little annoying, though. Oh, God damn it! I keep forgetting that's not the jump button. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to go up this side. What? I should have leveled more before coming here. Yeah, Whitting's Elephant Gun. Assuming you can hit with it. Uh, does... Uh, multiplicative critical hit damage. Um, regardless of level, but only on criticals. Which is annoying. It's a good gun, but... You need to be... Good with it. Which, unfortunately, yeah, see, multiplicative critical hits. But you need to be really, really, really accurate, and unfortunately, it doesn't have very high base accuracy. Despite being a sniper rifle, it has a lot of fucking sway to it. I wish it functioned a little bit more like a shotgun in terms of how, like... Because the shotguns, ironically enough, despite having tons of spread, are perfectly accurate. And there are ones with pretty tight grouping, too. I like Whitting's Elephant Gun a lot. It is really hard to hit things with it. 
but when you do, they fucking die. I want this in real life. Fucking revolver cylinder elephant gun. You couldn't do that though, I think it would be too big. Maybe. I'm not sure if elephant guns are single shot or not. It's been a while since I've seen one in real life. But yeah, it's a cool gun. It's just difficult to use once you get further into the game, unfortunately. Because it only has traditional iron sights. But if you get a headshot, it's an insta kill, basically. Well, maybe not on you. But, yeah, I really like Whitting's Elephant Gun. I remember using it pretty much the entire game the first time I played Borderlands. Because it's one of the few weapons that you can use the whole game. Because while it does not scale with your level, the criticals do, which is weird. So like, body shots do normal damage, or a little bit less than normal damage, but headshots are fantastic. Although you do have to memorize the critical weaknesses for like, monsters and stuff, but I guess that's kind of the point, it's a hunter's weapon. It's supposed to be for people who know where to shoot their enemies. You know, there's a lot of sheet metal on Pandora. What's up with that? Like, this planet is 90% junk heap. I wonder if there's something in that. Probably not. You know what sucks? As soon as I fucking plant this bomb, I'm just gonna have to go back downstairs where I was originally anyway. So what the fuck? Um, but yeah, it's good for uh, hit, uh, blah, 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 blah. attacking the badass creatures, because it doesn't have the stipulation of damage reduction that a lot of other weapons get. That was weird. Fucking iron sights, though, man. Jeez. I want a rifle like this in real life. I wish I had the silver screen ability. And, you know, that was a thing that existed. Just reach into your fucking television screen and take stuff out of it like it's a cartoon in the fucking 90s. That would be cool. Although I probably shouldn't be trusted because I would probably screw things up really badly. But I just take items and stuff. I take one of those weapon pods from Killing Floor, so I can just spawn uh, weapons and ammo whenever I want. I wouldn't become an arms dealer, I swear. Where's my briefcase? I forget what story that's from, that fucking briefcase thing that like folds open and it like... It basically turns on dev console essentially, but only for while you're using it. So, like, you can edit your appearance, abilities, other shit, spawn items into existence, but it only, it's like, it's a free trial thing, so it only lasts for, like, 24 hours, and all changes are permanent unless you reverse them with the machine. So, if you fucking use it and then it runs out, you're stuck with the fucking, um, stuff you changed. Wow, my dead zones suck. I should be using my other controller. It's like, I can't make the minute adjustments that this rifle requires to function. So I'm kind of just having to let them walk into it. Wow, that is some pixel-perfect fucking hitboxing. Revolver rifles are kind of rare overall, actually. 
There's that cool Canadian uh, revolver shotgun I was interested in getting. I may get that uh, at some point. I don't know. That thing's cool. Um, it's kind of expensive, though. And it fires a really small uh, caliber. Or not caliber. Cartridge. Gauge, I guess. But if I were to use slugs, that'd probably make up for it. It's cool. I think I would want it more for, like, the novelty rather than the fucking specific usefulness. But that's why I buy guns for the most part. Because I'm not really allowed to have most of the guns I actually want. Not because I'm, like, a criminal or anything. They're just not legal where I live. Which sucks. Because some of that was only recently, too. They had this giant fucking, um... Something something Creedmoor sniper rifle at the gun store near my workplace. That was just hanging on the shelf for like a few years. I wonder if they had to like get rid of it, like ship it to a different state or something, or if they just sold it off to someone. Because I doubt they would destroy it. It's probably in a warehouse. Or maybe since they're a dealer, they're licensed to hold on to it until they can move it to a different location. I don't know, maybe. That was a headshot, really? Weird. Because yeah, I don't find myself actually using the sniper rifles quite so much. But this thing, I find pretty fun. And yes, it would be infinitely faster if I were to just fucking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, why don't I just blow it up with the obvious timer that's on it? Uh, yeah, it would be faster if I were to just use my goddamn SMG or something. But I'm getting kind of bored of doing that. Huh. Cool. <sighs> Is there a fast way down from here? doesn't look like a fast way down. I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Oh, that was fine, actually. Huh. Weird. Okay, where the fuck am I? Yeah, okay. Aside from getting that chest, arbitrarily putting the fucking thing over here is a little annoying. Ooh, look at that pitiful explosion. What did that even do? Wasn't I supposed to be, like, blowing up the power lines or something? I don't... Okay, whatever. Core collection. Crimson Tollway. Which is... Okay, I guess... Yeah, okay. I think... That's the last of the immediate ones. I'm gonna blow those up. Or I guess I fucking won't. What the hell do I know? Well, if you're not gonna be a problem, I'm not gonna be a problem. Whatever. I guess they're just proximity based for the most part. Hey, if I shoot you from here, will that do anything? Fuck no, it won't. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to bother trying to figure out how many hits it takes to kill that thing. My guess is many. Uh, is there something over there? I'm seeing a red dot. Or is it just the fucking... Wow, that mip map is really zoomed out if that's the case. Huh. Um, door, door, door. Where is the door? Where is the door? Huh. Uh, 
Um, not seeing a door here. Whatever. I don't understand how an ecosystem can exist like this. It's all predators. Like, there's nothing low enough on the fucking food chain to sustain the larger monsters. Because, like, even the smallest predators here are super dangerous, so what the fuck do they eat? There's no grass or foliage of any kind on the vast majority of the planet. Everything here is a super predator. This can't sustain itself. I'm not dealing with you. I'm leaving. The sooner I'm done with this DLC, the better. there's barnacles or whatever over there. I think that's because this did all used to be ocean. And I can kind of see that. That explains all the giant skeletons. Like, if those weren't sea or land-faring creatures, those were like whales or uh, aquatic life forms. That makes way more sense and would explain why there are so many insectile or, um, like, things that look like they would have originated from sea life. But still... Man, I fucking hate this DLC. I like the Crimson Lance as an enemy faction, don't get me wrong. I think they're actually really interesting. And I think the Hyperion in uh, Borderlands 2 are a thousand times less interesting. And also really, like, I don't like the designs of the Hyperion robots and stuff. I think they kind of suck. Handsome Jack's alright as an antagonist, but... I feel like, uh, people are a lot more attached to him as a character than I am. I don't really care for him that much. Like, they go on about this whole thing about your characters are lawless bandits, and you are, for the most part. It's like, Jack's not a better alternative to that. He's a mass-murdering psychopath, and... He's super vague on what his plan actually is, aside from gentrification. Which, while funny, isn't really something that's possible on a planet like this. Why the fuck do they even want Pandora? There's nothing here. It's just a fucking weird planet filled with monsters. It doesn't even seem to have much value as a mining or industrial planet. And the costs of setting anything up here, despite the fact that they've set up a lot of things here, seem to be outweighed by literally every single other part of the fucking problem. Also, being on the planet induces insanity, just in general. I wish you picked up those cores automatically. I think that would annoy me slightly less. Yeah, that's Bulldog. When did I pick that up? Or 
versus times seven, fifty-nine times nine. That's better than the orange one. What the fuck? But this one has a Monty Python reference on it, so. Eh. <sighs> Whatever. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Um, B. I need to sell off some of these random items I'm carrying. Perish. What? No. I noticed the special elemental type uh, lance didn't appear until I started. Ooh, that's high damage. With two shots, so fuck it. Like, seriously, I wish those things just picked up automatically. You're gonna be trying to pick up so many of them. And since you are trying to pick up so many of them... Uh... You're gonna be switching constantly regardless. So why would it not just do it automatically? Like, everything has to be manual in this DLC. Because fuck it, I guess. That was fast. What? Oh. You guys are so, like, hilariously weak to fucking, uh, caustic. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. I want one of those weapon chests in real life. They gave away like a miniature one for, um, was it Borderlands 3's release or was it Borderlands 2's? Uh, but yeah, they gave away like a little tiny, um, fucking chest thing. And I thought that was cool. See, that's a collectible I wouldn't mind having. Like one that holds like game, uh, video game discs or something. Like, I like those kinds of collectibles. The Master Chief helmet was cool, but you couldn't wear it. You could wear the uh, Titanfall helmet, but I don't think you could see through the visor. Because it was like, it glowed or something, but it wasn't actually like, see-through. So while you could use it, it wasn't very helpful. Which kind of sucked. just instantly melt. Really? That is irritating. Stand still so I can shoot you in the face. That wasn't too bad. 
the fuck is this? Oh, it's just a weird looking gun. Well, let's take a look at it. Uh, oh, cool. Wait, that's just blue? Not orange or anything? Weird. Spectre class, plus 75. Ooh, that's actually really good. I want to use that. Okay, oh shit. Um, 32 times 12. Okay, well, whatever. Um, did I even need to open, like, a gate or anything here? Nope. That was just to kill those fucking dudes. Cool. Not sure how helpful that is. I do need to sell some of this shit. That is kind of a cool effect, though. And you can see the bits in the corner where it's, like, layered over itself. Or rather, the frame of the door. Uh, I'm pressing that by mistake. I'm wondering if... Um, that mod I just picked up is going to augment the hunting rifle. Or, sorry, the elephant gun. If so, all for it. I'm getting really fucking tired of those goddamn... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, elemental effects. They do a lot of damage, but also I hate them. I hate how they proc on your character. Like, I really like Borderlands, but there's so many things about it that piss me off. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, weird. At least I don't have to go through the under part of the bridge anymore. Like, the way this should work is every time you fucking do an objective, it fucking opens up a shortcut for you. That's not what happens, though. What happens is some minor fucking obstacles that shouldn't have been there in the first place get cleared, or rather obstacles that only exist so that they can be cleared later. Those get cleared. But, like, no pathways change, no fucking, like, new routes open. It's really annoying. I 
like how, like, I remember back when this game came out, I was like, I want to make Crimson Lance armor to wear for, like, a costume. And then quickly realized how fucking difficult that would be. I have seen a few people cosplay uh, Crimson Lance troopers, and they usually look pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, though. Did my fire speed go down? On the fucking sniper rifle? I'll have to look at that thing a little bit more closely. I hate how these things can fly like that. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, accuracy up. Damage up. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. I feel like they were playing around with the RPG mechanics in Borderlands 1, and they hadn't, like, committed to builds yet. They were just, like, flavor. Um. Okay, let's see how good this is. Mm. Not terrible. Kind of slow, though. Um. I'm glad the- okay, that's better. Clearly a much close range weapon, but, um... I feel like, uh, cause modern games doing the whole, like, incremental improvements thing... ...sucks. But I feel like Borderlands... ...shit. ...was able to do it, like, more noticeably, like, better... ...than I feel a lot of other games do, and did and do. And I don't feel like it was really a problem in Borderlands the way it was in other games. Because I feel like, A, when you improve something on your character, it actually noticeably improves. Which is not the case for games like Destiny or what have you. I'm not really sure of a lot of examples, because... Like, RPG mechanics in games that aren't RPGs. This is an RPG. It's a shooter, but it is still, like, this game is absolutely an RPG. God damn it! <sighs> and there's nothing here I can kill. Great. That's annoying. Um... Fuck these things. Cost money and resources. Do your part by dying quickly. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely an RPG. More so than a lot of other games. Destiny is not prioritizing the RPG stuff over other things, I feel. Borderlands absolutely is doing the RPG stuff, like, as its primary, like, point, I would say. Uh... Which of these is actually better? That's kind of difficult to say, actually. And this whole area just exists. What the fuck is going on there? This whole area exists just to be like, aha, you've been using chemical weapons this whole time? Fuck you, it's no longer effective. Oh, it's a flag. I was really confused. Because everyone here uses chemical shit. Which, if you're playing as Roland, is a problem. Not so much if you're playing as Lila. Not really. Anyway. Fucking die, prick. Yeah, and how are you supposed to get that? Trick question. You aren't. Fuck you. 
Chemical troopers are weak to explosive, I think. Or blast as the game continues to propagate. Or purport. Whatever. Uh, this is the movement speed I wish your character had normally. Like, moving this quickly. This is way better than the fucking slow-ass movement speed normally. I hate how slow your character walks in Borderlands. It's so annoying. You know, I've always wondered, do critical hits affect how with the drop rates on enemies? I've never gotten a straight answer on that. I'm sure I could look it up in like two seconds, but I'm really lazy, so I'd rather just have someone tell me. I know there's a rocket dude. I don't know where the rocket dude is. He's literally right on top of me. This is irritating. Well, I guess he could also be below me, but that would be weird. Is he over there? I think so. Hmm. I can fucking hear him for crying out loud. This is annoying. Maybe he's stuck in the boss or the monster closet. I could see that. What I don't want is an enemy sneaking up behind me shooting rockets at me. I could do without that. Okay, can you not? Why is this gun so inaccurate? Like, holy shit, it's not even hitting him. Okay, seriously. Oh, that's where you were, you fuck. Like I said. have like a super low effective fucking guys even drop that's actually pretty good I want some like new equipment that like completely outclasses whatever it is I'm currently using that doesn't happen very often in Borderlands where you just get something that's better by a significant metric in every respect Buying the woman you can never obtain it's time to try Engorge. and you'll be seeping in a progress report i've acquired the necessary pieces and the mission is on schedule the detonator should be prepared by the time you have acquired the code do you find it interesting how the bandits don't shoot until you shoot first or get too close that's kind of interesting Maybe not all of them are living out here by choice. <laughs> Who knows? I can't tell how much my damage is even being increased by. I need something that re uh, reduces weapon flinch to zero. Come on, one. Time to die. That'd be nice. Hmm. I 
hear enemy, I do not see enemy. Is this gonna become a recurring thing? Where there's just gonna be one enemy hanging around somewhere that I can't fucking find? If so, that sucks. to be personally endorsed by notorious ladies man, Mr. Shank. Yeah, so this shit is tits, guys. You should see what my bitch thinks of me now. Her name is Chat Mina, and uh, she... My mission is accomplished. When you have the code, rendezvous at our previous location. Athena, out. Yes, haha, get it? It's because he's gay. Truly an absurd notion. Hey, sugar, I've got another job for you. Stop on by. Oh, this is gonna take fucking forever. Well, traveler! There are new missions available on the T-Bone Junction Bounty Board. So much! There's just so fucking much. There's stuff in here. Hey, you see my gun. I see a quest marker. I don't know where the quest is. Is it below here? Who are you? Uh, can I help you? Okay, so there's two bounty boards. Where's that other one? Is it below me? The only thing I can think of. Huh. Weird. I already killed him. Come on. Ugh. For fuck's sake. 